Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Conversational English, Unit 4, Lesson 11. Today, we're going to continue preparing for that trip to Hong Kong, a business trip to Hong Kong by the Hudsons. Today's lesson is called Someone Sounds Really Sick. Our preview tells us that Betty and Edward must still visit a drugstore and bookstore. They decide to do these chores separately to save time, to have more time for dinner together. 好，那么我们今天呢要来进入这第四单元第十一课呢。那么这个我们的男女主角Betty还有Edward呢，为了要这个能够省一下时间，一起吃晚饭，所以他们决定分头去办事。那这两个人呢要分别还要去这个药局
Okay, now that we're finished with the break, let's take a look at that all-important vocabulary. Step on it. Step on it. 加快速度. I just need to use the bathroom for a minute. You'd better step on it or we'll be late. 我需要上一下厕所,你最好快一点,不然我们会迟到哦. Hit. Hit. 去. Before we go home, I need to hit the DVD shop to return these DVDs. 在我们回家之前,我要去一下DVD店把这些DVD给还了。Air sickness pill. Air sickness pill. 晕机药。People who feel uncomfortable flying should take one or two air sickness pills before boarding the plane. 搭飞机时会感到不舒服的人应该在登机前吃一两颗晕机药。Mockingly, mockingly, 挖苦的。Sam mockingly called his car king of the road, although it was old and in need of repairs. 山姆挖苦的昵称他的车是道路之王,即使他已经十分的老旧,而且也需要修理了。Exit。After the movie, please exit from the rear of the hall. 在电影播毕之后,请由影厅的后方门离开。Here I should remind everyone that Exit or exit, the two pronunciations both are correct. 嗯,所以这里呢, Bruce老师提醒大家呢, 这个我们离开的这个动词呢, 可能有两种发音都是正确的哦, 所以第一个是, Exit, Z, the exit, or, S, exit, exit. Okay, and this word can be used as a verb or, as a, a noun, noun, right? That's right. 所以呢,也可以当成名词,就是讲出口。那动词就是讲离开。Exit okay? number one. 出口一号,出口二号,这样子。Okay? Let's continue. Directions. Directions. 方向. Tom had to ask for directions because he had never driven to his uncle's small village before. Tom,因为从来没开车到过他叔叔住的那个小村庄过,所以他需要问路. Notice. Notice. 发现. Sheila noticed a spider crawling up her jeans, and she screamed loudly. 雪拉发现一只蜘蛛在她的牛仔裤上爬行,所以她放声大叫。Rush, rush. 匆忙。Every workday morning, about 8 o'clock, everyone is in a rush to get to school or work on time. 每天早上8点左右,大家都会匆忙地赶着准时上班或上课。a word about rush, like uh, number five, exit, you can use rush as a verb or a noun. As a noun, very often we find it in the phrase in a rush, but it can also be a verb, often with the adverb around. I have a lot to do. I have to rush around downtown this afternoon to get a lot done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, the same as the fifth word, Bruce is reminding you that rush is a noun, which we often see in a rush, or it can also be a noun, like this sentence, to go to the city center to do a lot of things. This is the use of the two. So two words can be used. Okay, let's continue. Number nine is aspirin. Aspirin. 
阿司匹林。The doctor told me to take two aspirin and call him tomorrow morning if I still didn't feel well. 医生要我吃两颗阿司匹林，如果还是不舒服的话，明天早上再打给他。Upset stomach. Upset stomach. 肚子痛。After eating half a pizza and three pieces of fried chicken, and drinking a big bottle of soda, Arnold had an upset stomach. 在吃了大半块的披萨、三块炸鸡，又喝下了一大罐的汽水之后，阿诺的肚子就开始痛了。Diarrhea. Diarrhea. 腹泻。The students didn't boil the water from the river, so they all came down with diarrhea. 学生们喝了没有先煮开的河水，所以他们每个都打拉肚子。Central Africa, Central Africa. 中非。Far from development. Central Africa is still a wilderness area. Because no development, so the Sahara is still a wilderness area. Incredulously, 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 we watched incredulously as the magician sawed the woman in half and then put her back together again. 我们吃惊的看着魔术师把美女锯成了一半，又把她拼起来。Be prepared. Be prepared. 准备妥当。Why are you taking so many things like a medicine and snake bite kit with us on the picnic? You never know. Be prepared. 你为什么要在野餐的时候带那么多的药，还有蛇咬的工具包呢？因为你永远不知道会发生什么，所以要准备妥当啊。Head off. Head off. 前往。As soon as the caged birds were released, they flew straight up and then headed off in different directions. 当笼子里的鸟一被释放，它们就马上飞起来，而且是飞往不同的方向。Meanwhile, meanwhile. 同时 ，Mom was in the bathroom taking a bath. Meanwhile, Dad was in the living room watching TV. 妈妈在浴室洗澡的同时，爸爸呢在客厅看电视。Approach, approach. 接近 As the speeding car approached Daniel, he quickly ran across the street and out of the way. 当疾驶中的车接近丹尼尔时，他快速的跑过马路，以躲开那辆车 Home improvement, home improvement. 居家修缮 After the typhoon, Melvin and Dolores went to the bank to ask about a loan for home improvement. 在台风过后，马文和迪洛斯去了银行为居家修缮贷款。Devote to, devote to. 致力于。Frank decided to become a priest and devote his whole life. To helping others, Frank 决定成为一名牧师，并奉献他的一生，致力于帮助他人。Subject, subject. 主题。This part of the library has books on subjects like geography, history, and philosophy. 地理、历史和哲学主题的这些书籍都集中在图书馆的这一区。
Carpeting. Carpeting. 地毯 Tina decided that she would replace the blue carpeting in the hallway with gray carpeting. Tina 决定把走廊的蓝色地毯换成灰色的。Do it yourself. Do it yourself. DIY. Do it yourself books and DVDs on how to build and repair furniture have become very popular in the last decade. DIY 组装和修理家具的书，还有 DVD， 在这十年来变得十分的畅销。Browse, browse. 浏览 Many teenagers in Taiwan like to spend hours in bookstores browsing through magazines and comic books. 台湾很多的青少年喜欢花好几个小时在书局里浏览杂志和漫画 Take your time. Take your time. 慢慢来。I'll get ready to leave as soon as I can. Oh, take your time. We still have over an hour before we have to go. 我会尽快准备出发的。慢慢来，我们离出发时间还有一个小时。Well, as usual, after such a long list of words and phrases, we are ready to take a break. It's time for part four, an extra serving. This week, I want to push on you, to urge you, to take a close reading in your workbook, because we list many different kinds of medicines.、Uh, be prepared, as we said in the dialogue, when you're traveling overseas. In particular, it's good to have a small supply of. Over-the-counter medicines with you, OTC, over-the-counter. This simply means these are medicines that we can buy without a doctor's prescription in any drugstore, and we list quite a few of them for you that、uh, will treat people who have symptoms of things like a cold or if they.、Uh, Have an upset stomach or their muscles ache and so on.、Uh, it's good to know how to talk about these kinds of OTC drugs or medicines when you're overseas in an English-speaking country. Hmm. 好，所以呢，哇，这一次的这个礼拜的资讯补给站非常重要。所以一开始 Bruce 老师就说他会这个呃、uh, push on， 或者是呢 urge 各位同学，就是督促各位同学务必务必要这个看。为什么呢？因为如果你是到一些英语系的国家旅行，那有时候呢，在出门在外的时候，他这个身上呢，先带一些这个小小的一些药。那这些药呢，刚刚讲到这个 OTC， 就是指。非处方的药，所以刚刚呢，同学可能听到有一个字是 Bruce 老师讲说，没有医生的处方就可以取得的这种药，或者我们说成药。那这里医生的处方呢，就是 prescription， right？ Can you spell that for the students？ Sure. P R E S C R I P T I O N. P R E here means before. S C R I P means to write, and then shun. So the doctor must write something before you can get that medicine. That is a prescription. That's right. 所以呢，我们知道说这个呃需要 prescription 就是需要处方才能取得的药。那么 OTC 呢，就是相反，它是不需要处方就可以取得的。所以呢，这个比如说像这个刚刚布鲁老师有举例，他显然很有经验。比如说感冒哦，或者比如说肌肉酸痛，或者是你有一个 upset stomach， 就是这个肚子痛。好，那么这样子的情况下，要带一些这种成药呢，自己就可以马上解决这种状况。那么刚刚这个布鲁老师也提到，如果在英语系的国家，你知道怎么说这些药的名。Right,、uh, aspirin, which was number nine on our vocabulary list, is probably the most common medicine or drug in the world. And some of you may have wondered, 
why do you say two aspirin uh, in the sentence, the doctor told me to take two aspirin? Well, usually for medicines, we don't add a plural. So take two aspirin. You could also say take two tablets of aspirin, two pills of aspirin. But the drug or medicine name itself, we usually don't use a plural. Two valium, two aspirin. 嗯,好,所以這裡又提醒了另外一個重點了哦,就是呢,這個兩個阿司匹林跟一個阿司匹林為什麼那個aspirin的後面都不加s呢,那麼不少是提醒大家可以寫下來,就一般呢在藥的後
That's right. So we come to the fourth tabloid. It refers to those popular articles or those local newspapers. So there are many of them that are quite interesting, but they are not always true. They are some of those that let you kill time. 啊的一些这种内容的，所以呢，这个当然我们就还是知道他要选 B， 因为在书店可以买得到。Our final item is number five lozenges. This is plural. Lozenges. Remember cough syrup. A lozenge is for, usually for a cough or sore throat, but it's something we like candy. We put it in our mouth. We suck it. So of course it is a drugstore item D. 对，那么第五题呢？这是含片的意思，口含片，所以我们选 D 在药局。Now let's take a look at our dialogue for the second time. Almost four o'clock. We'd better step on it. I know. Um, why don't we split up again? You can go to the drugstore, and I'll hit the bookstore. Cause you are the one who needs air sickness pills, and I'm the one who wants certain reading materials. Hmm. That sounds good to me. I can't wait to put down these groceries. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Now can we meet back here at six? Okay. You've got it. Actually, yes. Uh, I'm in a bit of a rush. I need a bottle of aspirin, mm -hmm. something for an upset stomach, something for diarrhea, and something for air sickness. Someone sounds really sick. Oh no, uh, it, it's not for me now. But I'm taking a trip, and I just want to be well prepared. Where are you going? Central Africa? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, well, you see, Hong Kong. Hong Kong? You can get anything you want in Hong Kong.、Uh, maybe, but I'll feel better if I get everything ready now here at home. Be prepared, huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> everything you need is on aisle six and seven over there. When you are finished, come back to me, and I'll check you out. Thanks. See you later. See you. Well, actually, there's something you could tell me.、Um, I want this medicine here, but I also want one or two more on、um, interior decorating. Hmm. Let's see. Besides the one you're holding, we have a couple more right over here in the home improvement section. Oh, that sounds great. And we also have some magazines devoted to subjects like. Furniture, carpenting, and do-it-yourself repairs. Oh, that—that's perfect. Um, I'll browse for a while and then bring you what I want at the checkout counter, right? Right. Take your time. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, that's it for lesson eleven. Next week with twelve, we still find. The Hudsons out of their home, getting ready for that all-important trip. Join us again next week. Till then, bye bye. <laughs>